welcome to our very first online All Age Worship Service. If you don't know who I am, my name's Rachel and I am the Children's, Youth and Families Pastor at Ashley Baptist Church. And I am so excited that you are joining us this morning. Have you got your quiz questions ready? Throughout the whole of the service, you're going to be finding the answers to the questions that you've got in front of you. But you're going to have to watch really carefully to get some of them. If you've not got those questions, then head over to our Facebook page now and you'll be able to grab a copy of them and join in with us um, as we start our service. So, who's awake and raring to go? Or are you still feeling a little bit sleepy this morning? Well, I know that lots of you joined in with a little thing called PE with Joe on a morning during lockdown. And every year at Holiday Club, we always start with our own. That's right, we start with our own warm-up. And this year was the first year in so many years that we weren't able to have our Holiday Club. And I really missed it. And I'm sure that you did too. So come on, on your feet, we're going to start with our very own all-age service warm-up. And it's not just for you little ones. Get your parents or grandparents or whoever you live with at home, get them on their feet and get them ready to go. Are you ready? Oh, hang on, I need to get changed for this. Your love is bigger than my fear. You hold me close when the storm appears. You are with me to the end. Your strength will rise in me again You awaken this song You are faithful all night long So I sing from the rooftop You always fight for me You're the fortress that I run to The rock beneath my feet And I will not be shaken I will not be moved When all around is changing I will trust in you
Good morning and welcome to the Youth Family News. This morning is our first online youth service. Coming up we have songs with actions, a messy challenge, a short talk and don't forget all those important quiz questions and answers. There is a price so send your answers to the email on screen. Call group is tomorrow night at 7pm on Zoom. If you are aged years 5 to 11 or 16 to 18, get involved. For more information, contact Rachel. A local search has begun for a family who would like to take part in a parent versus child family challenge for next month, all age service. Let us know if you think this could be you. Breaking news, just in. It's now only 89 days till Christmas Day. It's time to start getting ready. Thank you for watching Youth Family News. Now, where do we put those Christmas lights?
challenge for you to do at home as a family. And this month's challenge is the after eight challenge. So if you've got any of these or other chocolates lying around your home, go grab them and you can take part as well. It's quite simple. All you need to do is get an after eight, other chocolates are available, and you need to pop it on your forehead, maybe take your glasses off for this, pop it on your forehead and then wiggle it down your face and into your mouth. And then you get to eat it. Yum. Simple, right? Well, let's see how John and I got on earlier when we gave this a go. And then we're going to see how some of you got on with it at home. Okay, so here we are. We've got our after eights and we're going to do today's challenge. So remember, just pop it on your forehead and try and wiggle it down your face without using your hands. And no cheating, okay? Are we ready? Pop it on your forehead and then I'm going to say three, two, one, go. Can we step back or just doing it here? Yep. Ready? Three. Don't start yet. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> I'm just going to try and, like, huh. oh no, it's not working. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you made me drop mine! <laughs> oh no! Okay, well, I didn't do very well at that. I think he cheated. Still so, um, why on. don't you see how um, some of our church family got on at home? <laughs> Okay, here we go. The Waterman's doing the after eight challenge. Are you ready? Get set. No hands, Daniel. Go. and film it and see how quickly you can eat it. Now at Holiday Club we've had some pretty good times so why don't you have a go see if you can get a great time and send your video in to me here on this email and you will appear in next month's All Age Service. We'd love to have you involved.
your help. In a minute, on your screens, there's going to be loads of words that appear, and they're all in a jumbled mess. And I need you to put them in the right order so that we can figure out what today's Bible verse is. I'm going to give you two minutes to do this. You can work together. You can grab a Bible if you think it'll help you. But two minutes to work out what these words in the right order have got to say to us today. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Well done if you did. All of those words put in the right order say trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try and figure out everything on your own. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. That verse is a verse about trusting God. But what does trust even mean? Well the word trust means to have a belief in the strength or truth of someone or something. To help me explain this, I want to show you something. Okay, so I told you that I wanted to show you what it means to trust someone. So John here is going to help me out while I explain this to you. So, you've probably played this game before. And well, I'm basically... Well, I'm going to throw myself backwards and I'm going to trust that John's going to catch me. I've not cut out any crash mats or pillows or anything like that. I'm completely trusting that John is going to catch me. Are we ready? One, two, three, go! <laughs> so he caught me. Okay, why don't you have a go at home, find someone that is bigger than you, stronger than you, that you know he's going to catch you that you think that you can trust. And I'm going to use 30 seconds, have a go at this yourself, and um, see what happens. I'm taking no responsibility if someone ends up on the floor, okay? Pick someone you trust. Three, two, one, go. play that game with John because I trust him. I trusted that he had the strength to catch me. 
I trusted that he cared about me enough to want to catch me. The verse that we read earlier, trust God from the bottom of your heart and don't try and figure everything out on your own, is a verse where God is saying, trust me. Not just with little things, not just with big things, but with everything. Trust me with everything in your life. But how do you trust God? Well, to trust God, you've got to get to know him first. Because when you get to know him, you'll find out that he is strong enough to catch you. That he does care enough to want to catch you. And not just when you're playing a game like that, but in all areas of your life. So how do you do it? How do you get to know God? Well, firstly, read your Bible. This book is all about who God is. And if you read it, you get to know who he is. But I wouldn't start from the beginning and just read all the way through to the end. One day, that would be really great to do. But for now, go to the second part of the Bible, the New Testament, and have a look in the Gospels. And they will tell you all the stories about Jesus and why God sent him to the earth and what he means for us today. Some really, really cool stories, and they're great for you to read. Maybe start with the Gospel, the book of Mark. Maybe read it with your family, on your own, in your youth group, whatever. But read your Bible, and it'll help you to get to know God. Secondly, pray. When we're making new friends at school, we don't just stand there and go... not going to help you get to know them is it in order to get to know someone we've got to communicate we've got to talk to them we've got to find out a little bit about who they are when we talk to God you don't need to use big words you don't need to use fancy church words just be you talk to God like you would your mom your dad your brother or your sister do it on your own in your bedroom or do it as a family as a whole group whatever you do make sure that you talk to him and take the time to listen God might not speak to you in a great big booming voice like, hello, this is God speaking. But in some way, whether big or small, God will talk to you. Maybe through the Bible, maybe through someone else, but you've got to try talking to him and listening. Because that's another way how you are going to get to know God just a little bit more. And number three, spend time with people who know him. So when you spend time with other people that know who God is, know who Jesus is, they can help you to know who he is too. Maybe that's spending time with your family, looking at who Jesus is. Maybe that's coming to core group if you're old enough, or maybe another youth group that you go to. Maybe you just want to find out a little bit more. So you want to speak to me or someone else, but spend time with other people who know God and you too we'll get to know him a little bit more. These are just a few of the ways that you can get to know God a little bit more. And when you get to know someone, when you become their friend, when you know what they're like, then it becomes easier to trust them. The rest of that verse that we read goes on to say that when you trust God with everything and you don't try and figure it out on your own, that he will keep you on the right path. That doesn't mean life's going to be really easy. But what it does mean is that when life is a bit like a roller coaster going up and down through good things and bad things, he says, I will be with you and I will hold you tight. Get to know God, learn to trust him and let him go through this crazy life with you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you that we can trust you. We thank you that you love us and that you want us to get to know you more. Help us in this coming week, Lord, to read our Bibles, to talk to you in prayer and to spend time with others who know you. Help us in everything we do this week to bring a smile to other people's faces and to bring glory to your name. Amen. We're going to sing another couple of songs now. So if you want to get up on your feet, there is, of course, actions and we would love for you to join in. Shine from the inside.
inside out That the world will see You live in me Shine From the inside out That the world will see You live in me You know me And you love me You feel me So send me To shine From the inside out That the world will see You live in me Shine From the inside out That the world will see You live in me Quiz questions. 
Don't forget to send them in to me on my email and then I can sort out sending out some prizes. Next month, the challenge is the ice cream cone challenge. Get your ice cream cone, film yourself, time it and send it in to me and you can be in next month's All Age Service. If you want to know more about what's been said this morning, then always feel free to get in touch and it'd be my pleasure to tell you more about who Jesus is and how you can get to know him yourself. I hope you have a great week and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye!